Hi, this is a little known feature about Mac OS. Let's say that you have a family with uh, four members and all of them, for whatever reason, need to be on the Mac at the same time. So you can't all huddle over the same computer and kind of share the mouse. But there's another way that you can do it. So let's go into system preferences and you can see that I have one user being myself, two, three, four, and five. So there are five other users on this Mac who are also admins. Now let's say that we all need to log into this machine simultaneously to do work or you know search the web or check email. So let's figure out how we're gonna do that. Uh, first thing we need to do is go into sharing under system preferences and let's make sure that we have screen sharing enabled and remote logon. Okay. Under screen sharing, you want to make sure that all users have access to screen sharing. Then let's click on computer settings. You don't have to have any of these ticked off. This isn't a requirement for the way we're doing this here. Okay. What you do need to do is make note of your co computer's IP address. Notice that it says VNC colon forward slash forward slash, and then it has your internal IP address for this Mac. Okay, VNC stands for virtual network computing. All right, now the other thing that you'll need for this to work is either an old laptop, like an old PC, an old desktop PC, doesn't really matter as long as they can run at least some form of uh, Windows or Linux. And you can even use an iPad or an iOS device or any Android phone. So you have a lot of options of how you can kind of uh, pull this all together. All right, so here we've got the Windows machine. Let's start off with that. You wanna download the VNC Viewer app. I'll have it in the description. And we're gonna add a device by typing in the IP address right up here, which is just 192.168 or whatever it is uh, in your home environment. It might be a 10 or something along those lines. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And it's connecting and it's gonna say, hey, what account do you wanna to connect to? I know that on my computer I have the user Pete and I'm gonna type in Pete's password and hit return. So from here I can launch uh, pages, numbers, Safari, I can open up messages and pretty much use the Mac like normal. There are some apps that uh, won't work simultaneously. So for instance, Final Cut is one of them. So you'll have to kind of check around and see what apps can you not launch simultaneously using this method. All right, let's go over to Linux and try the same thing. I have Linux Mint running here. All right, and for this computer, I'm gonna log into Greg's account. All right, let's go ahead and type in Greg's password. And click OK. And there we go, we've got Greg's desktop launched here. Uh, let's open up uh, calendars, for instance. Continue. And there we are, so Greg can work on his machine also. Now, let's uh, try the same thing with uh, an iOS device. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna use an iPhone, and I've downloaded the VNC app, VNC Viewer, all right? And here, I'm gonna log into Brian's account. I've already added it. Let's click on Brian here. And there it is. You might get a, a warning that it's unencrypted, which is fine. All right, let's type in Brian's password. You can also choose to save it if you like. These are all just mock accounts that I created, so they're not actual uh, like people. But there you go. Uh, we have successfully logged in to Brian's account using our iOS device. Now, one thing to kind of consider here and be aware of even though uh, you know you can do this with so many accounts and you can expand as far as you like, there will also be hardware limitations. So the Mac that I'm currently running this on is uh, an i7 iMac with uh, 16 gigs of RAM and an SSD. So it can handle multiple accounts like this simultaneously. If you're running on something older, you might get away with two accounts, maybe three, but you will see, you know, pretty significant lag or you know degrading in performance because the hardware can't handle it so based on the hardware you're using you want to kind of be aware of and think about what can I really do here uh, you know you're, you're not going to be doing gaming uh, across three accounts unless you're playing maybe you know solitaire or something or maybe chess that you'll be okay with but you really won't be able to do heavy intensive uh, you know gaming that requires a lot of CPU horsepower but in any case, this is a pretty powerful tool uh, for a household, maybe a small office, and you know, just really cool to know that this exists and then you can literally use 
one Mac simultaneously for multiple accounts. Uh, so that kind of rounds it up. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.